welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets, uh, in another single review. And today's beer is going to be a beer from Three Floyds Brewing Company in the United States. Um, it's going to be the Three Floyds uh, Pride and Joy Mild Ale. And as you can see here, it's another of these crazy labels that Three Floyds make. Uh, let's, what's that, that's like a Joker or something like that. A Harlequin. With the beer on top of it and said, and then there's a grenade on there, I know, and it says, it's not normal. <laughs> it's on 4.8% alcohol, it's a mild ale, a British style, just an American version, remember that. And it says here, a classic session ale, pride and joy, mild ale, combines subtle maltiness with a soft citric hop nose. Like all our beers, it's brewed for our own demanding tastes. We won't compromise, neither should you. So let's get it cracked open. This is going to be my first uh, of beer from their year-round releases. I've not had any of the Three Floyds year-round releases, so it's going to be interesting. It smells bright, pretty hoppy, actually, the cat there. I mean, okay, guys, as you see, I just got the beer poured, and that head is just not going anywhere. That is just crazy, this head. It's so frothy, frothy, frothy. I just want to describe the appearance here before. And um, I, I take away some of the head so I can drink it. Uh, it's a hazy orange looking beer, kind of like looking like an IPA, maybe an amber ale. Uh, it's got a three finger, actually four finger frothy head that's just like kind of like the Duvel head. It just go anywhere, it just sticks around. Man, it's look at that. That is just fucking amazing. Okay, now um, I got away some of the head, so let's check out the aroma. Okay, definitely citrusy. Definitely, as they say on the label, citrusy. It smells, the last mild ale I had was the one by Luke and Boykos, which was really boring. This smells kind of like maybe an amber ale or an American pale ale. Quite hoppy, some citrusy, grassy, hoppy notes in the aroma. Definitely also some malt. I do get like a sweet malty note to it. Yeah, biscuity. Smells really, really sessionable. Uh, smells quite nice. Smells more of a, like, it smells more like a, a, a pale ale, American pale ale actually, than a mild ale or maybe a very light IPA actually, but let's give it a taste. That is pretty darn refreshing, and that is super sessionable. Mm. Um, the body on it is a nice light to medium body, uh, super super thirst quenching, refreshing. It's got a slightly or quite dry mouthfeel actually. Mm. The first sip you take is very citric, uh, very citrusy, uh, hop flavored. Uh, the beer. Then it turns into this more resiny, uh, or uh, resinous hop flavor, uh, some earthiness as well, and then it just mellows out with the maltiness, like a crisp, uh, like a yeah, biscuity, um, sweet malty note. Uh, but mostly, by most, it's like very, very citrusy and uh, and earthy, and, and earthy, and not earthy. Um, uh, Resinous with some earthy notes. It's also got a small subtle spice kick to it actually, especially in the end. Or oh, not in the end, in the first step. Uh, it does have that IPA powdery bitterness to it. Uh, I don't mind that at all, I really like it. It is um, super refreshing, I mean, and at 4.8% you can kick back a lot of these. Um, I do get why they call it a session ale. I believe this is one of the year-round releases, so you should be able to get them if you're uh, in Indiana, or I, th I don't remember, it's not a lot of states they, they um, distribute beer to, but they distribute to Denmark, <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, super refreshing, fairly hoppy for a mild ale. I mean, this is of course an Americanized version of it. it kind of reminds me of an amber ale, actually. Uh, it does. Maybe some grapefruit in there as well. Um, slight amount of astringency to it. It's good. It's a really refreshing mild ale. Uh, you could 
Yeah, easily kick back and slot down a few of these if you're watching what football, football, or just at a party or something. It is just so drinkable. Uh, rating wise, I'm gonna give it an 85. I think it's a great beer. Uh, not one that's like a wow experience as it's been with the other Southern Tier beers. I, oh, sorry, Tier, sorry, three full those beers I've had. Still a great beer. Um, definitely worth picking up. I'm looking forward to trying their Gumball Head and uh, also Alpha King, which I've also got. We should be really good beers. So yeah, an 85 for the Pre Floyd's Pride and Joy Mild Ale. Pretty good stuff. And guys, if you've had it, please let me know what you think of it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, thumb up, and all that stuff. And I'm going to say cheers. And I'll see you in another beer review.